Hey guys, this is Mike. I want to talk about something a little bit different today. As you know, I typically make videos on servers, NAS servers in particular, mobile devices, uh, consumer electronics such as DVRs, um, and occasionally technology consulting, I mean, pretty much everything in the, uh, in the computer world. Today I want to talk about something a bit different, and the topic is basically elevator shoes. They've got different names like lift shoes, um, and you probably find a dozen different names out there. But first, before I get into what they look like and how they work, I just want to talk about a few topics of why you, as a man, might want to wear these types of shoes. Now, first, I happen to be five foot seven. I'm not tall by any stretch, but I'm also not short. I'm a little bit below average for an American. I have very good self confidence, so. If I never got an inch taller, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm comfortable with my capabilities of my job and my ability to communicate and carry myself. However, there's also times where you might want to enhance your height for any number of reasons. If you're dealing with people that are taller than you, there's a psychological factor that they're looking down on you not only physically, but sometimes mentally, they feel they're superior. This sort of evens that out. Now, if I have to jump over to the world of women for a second. They're a lot more open about their doing this. For example, women have, they use things like makeup to enhance their appearances. Typically guys don't do that. They wear things like high heels to enhance their height. Not saying they're not self-confident, but they like their appearance a little bit better when they're taller. And if I may be bold for a second, they wear things like push-up bras. Not that they're not proud of their bodies as they are, they just feel that it accentuates their appearance in certain situations, <clears throat> and that's perfectly fine. Guys, we tend to shy away from that stuff or, or, hide our, or hide our desire to do that occasionally. So as so long as you're not trying to compensate for a lack of self-confidence or, or you think somehow your, your current physical appearance is lacking, because if you have any of those things, there's nothing in the world that's going to help you. You really need to deal with personal issues first. But if you just want to do it for maybe the same reason the ladies do, makes you feel a little bit better in certain situations, then elevator shoes are a perfectly good tool with certain limitations. I'll tell you about that. Now, first, I've read about these, never really gave it much thought. I happened to find these in a store when I was traveling, actually in Manila. And I said, okay, I'll give them a try. And I found them pretty comfortable. Now I'm going to show you the two pairs I picked up. Uh, the first pair is a pair of dress shoes. Um, typically, I kind of like this style with the laces. I probably would have picked a more tapered front. It wasn't available on offer, and I, I couldn't be too picky, right? Um, now, if you look from the side, it looks like a perfectly normal pair of shoes you might find in Macy's, JCPenney's, or wherever you buy your shoes. Um, leather tops, leather bottoms, um, normal heel. Now, if you look on the front, the way this works is normally your foot is flat against the bottom, just like any other shoe. But now on the back, if you can look where my finger is, that's actually where your heel sits, much higher than it would on a much higher than it would on a regular shoe. Um, so what it does is it actually lifts up your heel. So if you're standing up, it's sort of like standing on your tiptoes, right? You feel that extra height. That's that's sort of what this is like, and it takes a little getting used to, about a day or two walking in these. Now these are also dress shoes. So you got the normal dress shoe break-in issues where you're going to get a few blisters on your heel. Um, that goes away quickly as leather wears in and your foot gets accustomed to the particular shoe. Um, I like these shoes. I got a lot of compliments on it. And these actually give me a three inch height jump. So, so these make me up to about uh, five foot nine. I think these might be three and a half. And again, it's not something you really notice. I, I've stood in front of people. You feel, you feel a little bit taller, but it's not enough that people are going to go, wow, you're shorter yesterday. Um, what you do notice is if you happen to be in a room with people, you take them off and you suddenly drop a few inches. So a little caution there. Uh, the other pair of shoes I picked up is these casual shoes. And I really like the looks of these. These go very well with a pair of jeans, actually. Um, these actually give me a, a, a two inch lift. So same thing, foot's on the front, heels raised up to about here. Um, I think this pair I picked up for about $80. And this pair, I believe, was about 60, 65, somewhere in there. So they're very comparable in price to similar shoes you would find without the lift built in. So I kind of consider that a free bonus. 
These are also, I think both of these, yeah, they're both made by Bradford. These are uh, actually quite, um, quite high quality shoes. So I've had them for a while, they still look good. So that's basically how they work. Uh, I typically wear them in workplace scenarios, um, except for the casual shoes. I wear those things everywhere, they're great. So I do wanna caution one other thing, because I know there's some guys out there asking themselves this question. I'm a little, so I'm a little shorter and I wanna go date that girl that's two inches taller than me. So I'm gonna go and buy a three inch or four inch lift and make myself her height or taller and she'll date me. Here's where you gotta be careful. If the girl is actually taller than you and you put on shoes to make yourself taller or equal height to her, and if you're successful at best, um, remember, the shoe's gotta come off at some point. Just like with women, the push-up bra's gotta come off at some point, right? Now, the best case you're looking for is she's disappointed that you're shorter. The absolute worst case is she thinks you've misled her and then you put yourself in a far worse position you were before, but either way, you're not basing your relationship on you, you're basing it on something you're not. So caution against using these shoes in a dating situation. At the same time, if you happen to have a girlfriend that's like uh, under five feet tall, say four foot ten, and you decide to go wear a uh, three inch lift and you're already over five foot six, five foot seven, I mean, you're already making her feel small. No sense, no sense jacking yourself up and making yourself feel gigantic. So just know the company you're in, know the situation you're trying to, uh, uh, you're trying to portray yourself in, know the right reasons for wearing them, and then they're a great fashion accessory. So I do recommend them with those caveats in mind. So that's about it. In case any of you were interested in, these, in this type of thing, like I said, I haven't seen too many videos on this. So that's all I gotta say. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click like below. If you didn't, please use the comment section. Tell me why I do take feedback into consideration for future videos. Uh, and if you like what I'm doing on this channel, I would love it if you click subscribe. And that's it for now. Uh, more technology videos coming in the very near future. This has been a very busy week for me, so I did not put out the number of videos I usually do. I'm gonna make up for that in the near future. This is Mike, take care.